Now, before starting the video, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video keys fan. Keysfan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in a simple and reliable way. You can quickly activate software like Windows and Microsoft Office using these 100% official keys, which are fully compatible with online activation. Moreover, they provide lifetime after-sales support along with 24 by 7 customer service. Right now, their software super deals are live, so don't miss out. Upgrade your software at unbeatable prices with Keysfan. Simply add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows Series with RTG 50. 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundles with RTG 62. Don't forget to check the description for more details. What's going on everyone, it's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, I'll show you how you can actually install and run Blender, the powerful 3D modeling software right on your Android device. I'm not kidding guys, it's completely real. Even a couple of months ago, I already tested Blender on an old Snapdragon 888 device. It actually worked really well on it. To get started, you need to go to Blender's official site. Currently, version 4.4.3 is the latest. So, download the Windows installer package, as we're going to test it on a Windows emulator. For this test, I'm going to use the WinLater WB64 emulator on the latest 10.2 build. The same even works on other emulators like Frost, or any other version. You can try them too. So here, I'll install the WinLater WB version. You'll also need one more driver, which is the NVIDIA PhysX system driver. Anyways, I'll close everything now. Open the WinLater emulator, allow the permissions, and go to settings. Make sure to enable capture pointer on external mouse. Set input API to both. Set the preset to performance. Enable Android clipboard to wine. Save the settings. Now, create a new container. Set the screen resolution to 720pi or higher for better visual detail. Set the turnip driver to version 25. DXVK version 2.41 is selected. I'll leave everything else to default. Now go to Advanced Settings. Set Startup Selection to Aggressive. Set Windows version to 10 or 11 for better application support. Let's boot it. The phone I'm using right now is the POCO F6, powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8S Gen 3, with 12 gigs of RAM. Now go to Start System Tools and check Direct 3D. It's working fine and stable. Anyways, now let's go to the D drive where we copied our files. Install the FISX driver. Then install Blender 4.4.3. Here, I'll also enable Ultimate Mode for better performance of the device. The setup process is the same as usual. Click Next, the path is already set, then install. All right, we're done. It's very easy to install onto this emulator. I've also already copied some sample Blender FBX models for testing to see how well this actually performs on this phone. Once everything is done, restart the container system. Now let's load Blender. All right, we've successfully loaded Blender on Android before GTA 6. A couple of months ago, I already tested Blender on a phone with the Snapdragon 888, and it handled it quite well. Loading scenes, textures, and stuff. That too, on a four-year-old Android. And you can see it's quite stable here. The viewport, camera view, and everything. It's crazy. You can even connect a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse to the phone and use it like normal PC. But please don't expect too much like rendering heavy stuff. This isn't a giant PC or a gaming laptop. It's a mobile phone running inside an emulator. Let's test some things here. Open a file, same as usual, and load a Blender project. This is a sample project file with cube cuts. Right now, the phone is starting to heat up a bit. Now let's load a bigger file. This is an interior house design. Look at this, guys. It's holding up really well. I can feel the heat at the back of the phone. Same as usual, you can import FBX files into Blender. I'll delete the cube object here and load this FBX character 
which I designed using QuickMagic AI. Without using motion capture, green screen, or a mocap suit. I'm not kidding. You can actually turn any video into 3D animation without expensive mocap gear. It works with Maya, 3DS Max, Unreal Engine, and more. I already covered it in a separate video. You can check the link in the description. Now let's load a more intensive project. This one's an outdoor scene. But again, don't expect too much. If your phone has at least a Snapdragon 860 or above, it runs fine. But expect only basic stuff like loading scenes and simple modifications. Let's switch to wireframe shading, and you can clearly see each frame and its detail. Now let's switch to material preview. All right, the phone starts to lag a bit. Hold on, it's loading. And look at the quality, it's still holding up. There are a lot of frame drops though. This device only has 12 gigs of RAM. Still, this is really cool. I'll soon test it on a lower end Snapdragon with an Adreno GPU that has fewer shader cores. I know it might not work, but if it does, I'll definitely update you. So yeah, Blender is actually running on Android. It's crazy, right? And just imagine, on a Snapdragon 8 Elite, which is like twice as powerful as this one, it could do even run better. But yeah, it still needs proper driver support. Anyway, if you found this useful, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to here, consider subscribing to us and it's free. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.